Hi, I'm Tyson Franklin, and welcome to this week's mini episode titled Low Cost Marketing Idea Number Three, and it's host and open night. But before I kick this off, I'd like to mention my new podcast, the Podiatry Legends Podcast. Of course, if you're a podiatrist, it goes without saying that you should download and listen to this show, but you don't need to be in the health industry to appreciate this information. On episode three, my guest is Dr. Peter Wishney from New Jersey, and he talked about goal setting and what you need to do to make things happen in your business. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure those principles apply to every business. So if you have the time, go and check it out. Just remember, it's called Podiatry Legends Podcast. So back onto today's subject, low-cost marketing idea number three, host an open night. In every business I've been part of, we've hosted open nights. And this is where we've invited our professional and non-professional referrers and also some of our long-term good patients. Now, if you haven't heard me use the terms professional and non-professional referrers before, I'd suggest you listen to my podcast episodes that were released on the 17th and 24th of May last year. Or go to the show notes and I'll have links directly to those episodes. But to give you a little bit of an overview, a professional referrer is someone that's within your industry. For example, in the health industry, a physiotherapist is a professional referrer to a podiatrist. In the financial sector, an accountant is a professional referrer to a financial planner. And in the building industry, a plumber would be a professional referrer to an electrician. A non-professional referrer is somebody outside your industry, but potentially could refer people to your business. Now, this referral source is often neglected. And as an example, a hairdresser is a non-professional referrer to a plumber, a podiatrist, and an accountant. But how often have you reached out and connected with your local hairdressers other than the one that cuts your hair right now? Just think about that. So an open night in your business can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be, meaning it can be low budget and low cost, moderate, or it can be expensive. That's really up to you. But what's important is you have a compelling reason why you want to invite people for an open night at your business. It may be you want to show off some new equipment or some new technology, introduce them to a new product line that you have, or meet some critical people in your team. Or it could be a combination of all the above. If you're a new business, you may not yet have any professional or non-professional referrers or even any customers or patients yet. So you might think this doesn't apply. But if you listen to an episode I did a while back, it was episode 92 and it was called Market Early and Create a Buzz. You should have made contact with a lot of people and a lot of potential referrers during your setup phase leading up to your actual opening day of your business. So with a new business though, you'll be throwing more of an opening party more than an open night just to come in and have a look around. And therefore, you will have more people and the expense will go up accordingly. When you do have an open night though, here are a few tips to make it a success. First, Limit the number of people you invite to six to 10. Now, this may seem low, but there are good reasons for this. Firstly, you are able to spend more time with each person that attends. You will get to know them better. Smaller numbers won't feel like a party. Therefore, catering is much easier and less expensive. All you have to do is have a couple of bottles of wine, a few beers, and a nice platter. That's it. The night will also be a lot shorter because you can share your message much faster with a smaller crowd. Make sure though, on your invitations, you tell them the starting time and the finishing time so they're aware. And holding it midweek also indicates it's not a party. Whereas if you do it on a Friday night, that's a little bit different. An important thing to keep in mind with smaller numbers is to make sure the referrers complement each other and are not competitors or or that they conflict in any way. For example, putting a group of physios and chiropractors in the same room is not usually a good idea. If one of your referral sources has a large team, consider inviting that business alone and keep the open night exclusive just for them. Having smaller open nights means you can run them more often. Therefore, this allows you to tweak the event each time and improve how you're running it. So the night eventually just runs like clockwork. And as a final tip, 
make sure you plan ahead and involve your team. You want your critical members in your team to be there at each open night. You want them to meet the people that you invite. So what I've just explained has a lot to do with throwing low cost open nights. But if you have a major milestone we're celebrating, like a, a renovation or extension, maybe you've moved into new premises, or celebrating a work anniversary, you should go bigger and invite far more than 10 people and make it a real celebration. In fact, I think you should celebrate every work anniversary and you should make it a big deal. It is something to celebrate. The last one I threw for my podiatry business, we had 50 people attend and we booked a caterer. When we added up the final bill, including the booze and the food, we were pleasantly surprised it only came in at about $1,500 for the night. Now, that may sound like a lot of money to some businesses, but if you stop and think about it, how much are you prepared to invest in improving your relationship with a good referrer or some of your A-type patients and customers? If you divide $1,500 by 50 people, it was only $30 a head. So I think it was a worthwhile investment. Also, on that particular night, we took over 150 photos and generated an endless amount of coverage on our social media pages and also the social media pages of the guests that were invited. And I think that is priceless and that is often overlooked. So in summary, start connecting with your professional and non-professional referrers by holding open nights in your business. Let them see what it is that you're doing. And also don't be afraid to invite long-term customers, patients, and friends, because there's nothing better than having raving fans to help you share the message to the masses. Now, if you have any questions about this marketing message, number three, please send me an email at tf at tysonfranklin.com. So that's it from me. Look after yourself, look after your family, and I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.